Okay, I want to talk about this part because this was very fascinating to me, and I'm really interested to get your insights on it. We're going to be taking a listen to some clips from Mom, Chad Daybell's proud mother, I'm sure, these days. Uh, and and her uh, her entrance into the world of, of Lori Vallow uh, Daybell and, and the moment that she meets her at a Texas roadhouse. Of 2019. Did you and Jack travel to Idaho? We did. Did you meet with Chad at a Texas roadhouse yes. in Idaho Falls? Yes. Was it dinner time, lunch time? Dinner time. Okay. Now you and Jack met Chad at the Texas roadhouse. Was somebody else there? Yes. Who was that? Lori Vallow. Had you ever met Lori Vallow before? No. During that dinner, did Chad tell you and Jack anything about his relationship with Lori Vallow? I don't think he did as much as Lori did. Okay. What did Lori tell you? Well, she just, we noticed that the, these rings on, and my husband said, are you engaged? And they said, no, we're married. Were you surprised? Yeah. Did they tell you when they had gotten married? No. Now, on November 13th of 2019, this was approximately a month after Tammy's death. Yes. Is that why you were surprised? Yeah, I was. Uh, reactions to mom. Well, <clears throat> mom, um, I think is, is in touch with reality at this point. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just, um, how, how do you wrap your head around that? You know, a month later, your son's married with this new wife with this weird story. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know much about her by any means chad daybell's mom seems like a nice lady who might bake some good cookies or something um doesn't really surprise me that that's mom um and no. kind of why chad is the low functioning dimwit is that <laughs> that he is? that just rolled out <laughs> yeah i love it i love it kind of like uh, okay probably not you know the most uh you know uh, let's uh, hear a little more testimony from her, um, where Lori has a conversation over those delicious rolls at Texas Roadhouse, uh, uh, about, uh, you know, about her dead husband and, um, and a very interesting piece of information that she reveals, uh, at, uh, this, uh, questionable point, questionable point in time where, uh, others don't necessarily know what happened, uh, to the kids, but she tells her right there as they order the, uh, the Bloomin' Onion. Okay. Did Chad or Lori tell you anything about whether or not Lori had been married before? Chad didn't. Did Lori? Yes. What did Lori tell you? Oh, that she'd been married before? Yes. Well, she just said that her husband had recently died. Did she say how he had died? Heart attack. When Lori said that her husband had died of a heart attack, what did Chad say, if anything? I don't remember any, any specific mention okay and did lori or chad say anything about whether or not lori had children she said she had a daughter that had died do you remember how old that daughter was she didn't say a date did she say anything about whether or not she had a young son no when lori said that her daughter died did chad say anything that you recall i can't no i don't think at the end of that dinner did you believe that lori had a daughter who had died Yes. That doesn't play too well for Chad. Yeah. Of uh, the daughter's dead. She's saying this at Texas Roadhouse as they're about to clap and do a birthday song. Uh, <laughs> had to put a lot of Texas Roadhouse <laughs> references in there. I cringe anytime I'm there. Um, uh, and, uh, and he's not speaking up going, she's dead. Obviously it kind of shows he knows that she's dead and the rest of the world doesn't. Yet, you know, they're out there living their life and being followed by reporters and just denying everything. What was your thoughts on that there? It's just amazing how, you know, I, I go back to Chad's level of ability to manipulate people and, and the fact that he is so dumb and inept. I mean, it's just incredible, but yeah, they, they announced it. She's dead. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's just, there was not a lot of obviously strategic planning going on between Chad and Lori in, yeah. in this 
you know, this way that they were moving through the world with all the people that they know. Um, yeah, it's just, it's damning. It's absolutely damning. Did you think they, they dawned on them that they needed some sort of strategic planning uh, if they're going to try and pull off this story? Or were they just so both dim-witted that um, they just kind of thought they could tell anybody anything and they'll just, you know, they'll go along with it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The telling anybody anything had been working for them for a long time, but I think that has a lot to do with the people that they were surrounded with. And clearly they were dumb enough to think that they could just continue to do that and yeah. that it was going to work. And, you know, it's really um, a combination of stupidity, mental illness, arrogance, narcissism. And it's, yeah, it's just horrible. Looking darker and darker for Chad as this continues on. Very uh, much. In terms of a jury really having any sort of pity for him uh, when it comes yeah. to the question of the death penalty. Um, yeah. Where do you think that's going to go as far as what we know right now? Well, I, I certainly can't see um, him being looked at with mercy at this point. Yeah. You know, I don't know about the people on the jury, but but he's responsible. I, I don't think there's any any yeah. doubt with everything that we're seeing. This guy knew exactly what was going on and he knew what he was doing and, and um, he thought he could pull it off. And, you know, again, not very smart. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to follow us wherever you download podcasts, and especially Apple Podcasts, where you can get advanced episode and premium content on our premium channel right there. Also, be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any breaking updates on the stories that matter to you most. We're on TikTok, X, Instagram, Facebook. Just search Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi, and you'll find us right there. Again, thanks for watching.